and I reveal their supple, sweet. Shut! Stop it! Stop yelling at me! I hate you! You're not my real dad! Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Today we are making Gatorade muffins. Why? <laughs> if you have an answer, please tell me. No, you take your favorite breakfast pastry, all dense and full of butter, packing all that delicious bright blue Gatorade flavor into a dense little, what is essentially a cupcake. Let's not kid ourselves here. If you're eating a muffin, you're eating breakfast cupcakes, baby, and that's perfectly okay with me. We're gonna shove a bunch of Gatorade in there. Also, get the Mythical Sport Tea, available at mythical.com. It is perfect for the large-chested, prominently nippled man in your life. The nipple splits right through the spork. It's like the handle of the spork is my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> if you're following along at home, you can snag the time codes right there. They break down all the steps. Let's get cooking. Let's Gatorade up these muffs. So the first step to making Gatorade muffins, you have to make your Gatorade reduction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take four bottles of Gatorade and pour it into a scorching hot pan. This is 80 ounces and it's going to yield approximately eight ounces by the time we're all done with it. All we're gonna do is let this boil off and all the water is gonna evaporate. It's gonna leave you with this beautiful blue hue and that lovely cool blue flavor. And yes, blue is the flavor. There's no fruit in nature that looks like this. This was not derived from anything natural. This is pure hot, nasty, badass science that created this flavor and it is delicious. So the reason we're reducing it is because it's gonna concentrate all the flavors and it's gonna turn to like a thick syrup so it's not gonna mess with the consistency and see the muffin batter when we pour it in. It's gonna keep it all like nice and tight, a nice tight raid muff. All right, so our Gatorade has been reducing for an hour and 15 minutes. This is a long process. Don't let that dissuade you from doing it because it's all worth it because in the end you get what? Electrolytes. And what are electrolytes? They're what plants crave. Look at that, it's nice and syrupy. The blue has like really deepened. Ooh, it's actually really cool because electrolytes are actually just salt, right? It's what balances out the potassium when you sweat. When you reduce this down, not only are you getting a lot of good sugar and you're getting this beautiful syrupiness, you're also getting a lot of salt in there, which is gonna help season your muffin batter. So we're gonna turn this off and I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna let it cool in a large bowl. If you pop this in the fridge, it's gonna cool down. And you can see all that beautiful ocean blue. Honestly, it looks like Tide detergent, but it's gonna be really tasty. Now we can make our muffin batter. Let's make some muffin batter. Let's bat some muffs. Muffs of bats. You don't wanna muff your bats, you know what I'm saying? I don't. The eggs are sweating, I'm sweating. Good news is if you're sweating, you only need to take a teaspoon of the Gatorade reduction, and that's like a whole bottle of Gatorade. So Gatorade, whole bottle of Gatorade. <laughs> I don't think you got. So muffins, what is the difference between a muffin and a cupcake? Uh, uh, nothing, literally nothing. Muffins are though typically denser, so that's why we're adding stuff like sour cream to it. But first we gotta mix our dry ingredients. So all that's gonna be is baking powder, baking soda, and flour. And we're just gonna whisk that together. I kicked something on the ground and it hurt. Do you think it was important? Ah, we're chilling. And then we need to mix our wet ingredients together that we're going to add to our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take our butter, nice and soft in the microwave, a little bit melty, but you want it a little bit melty. And then we're gonna take our sugar and we're gonna dump that right into the butter. And then we're just gonna whisk it together and we're gonna start to cream it together. It's just gonna dissolve the sugar, get it nice and worked into the butter. This is how you cream something. You wanna cream anything? Just, you got it. Always a good thing. It'll help it incorporate nice and evenly. Actually, I don't know. Is it a good thing? Does creaming stuff together actually matter? Nah, Nicole says yes, I think no. <laughs> I still do it. Like how we did a whole series where I'm just like debunking food myths and now I'm just like, I don't know, I'm doing it because someone told me to. So we got our butter and sugar cream together and we're gonna add two whole eggs to this. I don't know if you notice how I opened that egg, I kinda just... Ow. So we're gonna add two eggs to that and then mix the eggs together. You're gonna splash some raw egg on your brand new mythical spork tea. It's great, it's got egg resistant technology. <laughs> and I'm gonna start making false claims about all of our merch. So we got our eggs, we got our butter, we got sour cream. Sour cream is great because it adds both sour and cream to your muffins. I like adding some other dairy components. Uh, you can use Greek yogurt as well if you're trying to get swole. But muffin batter should be nice and stodgy. That's what's gonna give it a good rise and get like a good muffin top on it. Now we have to take half cup of our Gatorade mixture. That's about a half cup. And we're just gonna whisk that together. And then wow, presto, change you see it just become a beautiful, unnatural color that looks like, literally like the brand of Febreze detergent that I wash my clothes in and not my sheets because I have not washed them since quarantine started. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our wet and we're gonna add it to our dry. That's nice. Use a spatula to get the rest in there. <laughs> Sorry guys. Start whisking from the inside out. That's gonna help avoid clumps the same way you'd make a pasta, like a ricatoni, like giada. And when the whisk fails, take your sour cream spoon and start spooning in the batter. And you want this to be nice and stodgy. That's what's gonna give it a good rise. Whereas cupcakes, it's got a really liquidy batter. Muffins, you want a nice thick boy batter. Oh, I'm down with the thickness. All right, just, just get this son of a biscuit. All right, now our muffin batter. It's, 
<laughs> that tastes like Gatorade. I don't know if you can see, I was about to say a word and then drool started coming out because the acidity and the saltiness of the Gatorade in here just made my salivary glands work on overdrive. We're gonna take some of that batter and then just drop it in. You wanna go about three quarters of the way up your muffin paper. We're using fancy coffee shop style muffin papers. I forgot the word coffee shop because I haven't been able to go to one in months. That's fun. So we're gonna get this about three quarters of the way up in there. And then we're also gonna make a nice, beautiful Gatorade streusel topping. And that is gonna be just lovely. <laughs> Once I was uh, I was out on a raft, well, it was actually a kiddie pool from Kmart that we blew up with my friends. And then we were like deep into the ocean. We were like drinking some claws. And then we only had one oar, so we had to like paddle back and forth. And then a seal came up on us and we got real scared and it like bit the oar and took it out of our hands and then our boat deflated. Because again, it was a kiddie pool. What are we doing? Gatorade muffins. We have our muffs all rated and gated. And now the last step, we're gonna do a little streusel topping. That's one of my favorite things on a muffin. All we're gonna do is combine flour and sugar. We've mixed together white powdery with white sand. And then now we're gonna go ahead and add uh, yellow cubes. So the butter's actually gonna melt through all this delicious streusel topping into the muffins. And then it's gonna get nice and crispy and then kind of glaze the muffins with butter. You wanna butter glaze your raid muffs. Learn that in school. Take just enough Gatorade liquid and kind of stream some in there. You want it to still stay clumpy though. You don't want it to become a liquid. That's nice. Just enough blue clumps in there. Yeah, das ist fantastisch. I've been listening to too much Ramstein. What are the political beliefs of Ramstein? Cause it sounds like I wouldn't like them. And now we're just gonna take some and we're just gonna kind of crumble it on top of our muffins. So this is gonna get nice heat on it. Some nice, beautiful, crustage action on it. I like making a good crusty muffin, you know? Like it kind of separates it from a cupcake for me and that's an important part of a muffin. So it's gonna top it, some of that strudel. What's the difference between strudel and streusel, Nicole? Strudel is a pastry, streusel is a topping. Oh, that makes sense. So the streusel, or streusel as it's pronounced in German. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> for a <laughs> If you're using a silicone baking mat, a good thing to do is to have a hard baking sheet underneath it. We're gonna take this, we're gonna fly it in the oven 425 degrees for 10 minutes, get a rise out of it, shut the temperature down, bake it for about another 15 to 350. See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya, gotcha! So our muffs are rated, gated, and baked, so we gotta take them out of the oven. Oh, they're looking so nice and gorgeous. That is awesome. You see all of that blue like peeking out. The streusel topping got super nice and crusty. That's fantastic. But of course we have one more step to get even more Gatorade infused in there. I'm taking some of that reduced syrup and I'm just gonna soak it in a nice pastry brush. And yep, we're just gonna brush your Gatorade syrup on there. If you're doing this with a cake, it's what's called a cake soak. I'm doing a Gatorade muff soak. So just brush that in. You wanna leave it kind of nice. You don't wanna obstruct any extra so topping. Get some nice drops in there. You really want the liquid to soak in there. And you especially wanna do it while it's hot and actually porous. Oh, there's a nice little crevice for some Gatorade. Happy little Gatorade rivers running through the valleys of Muffin. Sign me up for a trip to Muffin Valley. We gotta let these Gatorade muffins cool down for a couple seconds and then I'm gonna crack them open, smear some butter on them and get, get them into here now. All right, so the Gatorade muffins are out and they are soaked and they are looking gorgeous. I'm just gonna take this out and this is the way I like to eat muffins. I take them and I just break them open with my hands and I reveal their supple, sweet. Shut, stop it! Stop yelling at me, I hate you! You're not my real dad! So the muffins have this like beautiful greenish blue hue to it. What I like to do is I take a little smear of butter. Maybe it'll be a lot of a smear of butter. And then I just smear that all over the front. So now that we're back in the spork kitchen, we're bringing the spork back. We're sporking all of them, baby. Everyone else is wearing a mask except for me. So I am the lucky eater. I am both the sporker, the sporky, the eater, the ED, the muffer. I've, I've never sporked myself before. This feels different. I should have lit a candle. And so I'm, I'm just gonna, uh... <laughs> You ever watch a turtle eat a grape? <laughs> it looks a lot like that. <laughs> Going back. <laughs> That's certainly a Gatorade muffin. <laughs> what more can I say? It's a really good muffin base. The Gatorade in there, it tastes like nothing you've ever had before. It is really delicious. You don't expect that much citric acid in a muffin, but when that muff hits you in the face, you just go, wow, it's like nothing you've ever had before. That's delicious. Make some Gatorade muffins, and when you do, Tag Mythical Kitchen on Instagram with hashtag dreams become food. Thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment with what mythical dishes you want to see us make next. We got a new episode of Hot Dogs and Sandwich Ad every Wednesday. New cooking videos every week. I'll see you next time. Get muffed!
Rock it with a spork in your pocket. Get the spork tea now at mythical.com.